Pakan, Gonzalo, it's good to see you and thank you for doing this. I've just started learning how to program in Bond Vision. <laughs> I need your help. Can you show me how to start off? Sure, Sam, thanks. Um, yeah, so uh, Bond Vision is essentially a package built on top of Bonsai to make uh, programming visual stimulus very, very easy and uh, essentially builds on top of the uh, shaders package uh, that is also included in Bonsai. And I guess, first of all, uh, I guess we can assume that uh, you should install the Bond Vision uh, package, which is in the tools menu. Uh, you go to manage packages and then you will uh, be shown the package manager of Bonsai and uh, first of all, Bon Vision is located in the community packages of um, of Bonsai, and if you look for this Bon Vision, you should be able to find it. Uh, there should be a button. If you haven't installed it, there will be a button uh, install to the right. You just click on it, and it should download all the dependencies that you need to get started. Um, and that includes the shaders package, uh, VR package, and so on. So once you have done that then you can go back to your workflow. And the first point to get started is really the, you need to create a window. So uh, Bonsai and, and Bonsai shaders and Bonvision uh, use OpenGL, uh, which um, essentially is a open source graphics library uh, that is created on top of a dedicated window that you you can access by searching here for uh, create window. And then you can drag it as I did uh, uh, on the workflow. And once you have done that, uh, you can load the, we will go back to this window later, but uh, you, to get started with the bond vision, uh, another thing you should be able to do is just write bond vision in the toolbox and all of the Bond Vision operators will be uh, available, will be shown. Um, and what you want to do is uh, on top of the window that we are creating here, you can uh, also include loading of the Bond Vision resources, which essentially is a set of pre-built uh, stimuli and, uh, and programs and resources to generate uh, many different kinds of visual stimuli that you may be interested in. So you declare those uh, those basic resources. Uh, we'll show you how to how to load extra resources later, and then after you've done that, you can uh, insert the load resources operator, which will basically load everything that you have declared along this path. So from the window, you load the Bonvision resources, you load more resources if you need, and then to load everything, and then you can get started rendering uh, your your frames for of, of your visual stimulus by using the render frame source. So render frame essentially will uh, send out a notification every time a new frame needs to be rendered. So it's basically an event. Uh, every time your window is uh, is being drawn in the loop that you that you can specify the frequency of in the create window. Uh, Every time the new frame needs to be drawn, this node will will fire uh, uh, will fire an output, and it's on that output that you are then have to build a sequence of commands that will uh, specify everything that will be contained in that frame you are drawing. And in Bone Vision, uh, we designed it in a way that you can uh, compose both 2D and 3D stimuli. So there's many different ways to, to draw scenes that we, we will cover uh, in other videos, but to really get started quickly, uh, the easiest way to play around uh, with the basic set of stimuli is to use a kind of um, uh, basic 2D perspective uh, that can be defined using the normalized uh, view node. And essentially uh, this creates a, um, a normalized viewport that essentially uh, is defined by 0, 0 being at the center of the window that you define uh, regardless of its size and minus one on this, let's say the x-axis minus one on uh, will represent the left 
edge of the of uh, the screen and one will represent the right edge of the screen and for the y-axis the vertical axis minus one will be the uh, bottom and one will be the top and once you have defined that view you can then finally draw your uh, stimuli so let's say we are going to draw some basic uh, um, gratings some basic sine wave gratings so you have this node draw gratings uh, that you can place after the normalized view um, and you can configure its parameters here on the properties to the right. But if you just play this uh, workflow as it is by clicking start on bonsai, a window should show up that uh, shows you the, the your first stimulus. And then for changing any other stimulus, you can look for bond vision primitives here. If you look for these bone vision primitives, uh, you should see a list on the left of all of the available pre-built stimulus and you can just replace. So let's say I want to replace the gratings with a checkerboard. I can just replace that, that node there. Um, and now what is going to be displayed on the screen is going to be this uh, uh, black and white checkerboard uh, here with the uh, sizes and parameters that you have on the right. Um, so that would be how you get started.